I was looking around for something because we had so much fun with Band of Brothers that, uh, that I was looking around for something else to do. And I still have bits of the Once More in the Bridge Dear Friends speech lying around, but it's like we've already done admin for the musical, so I'm not going to talk about that. And uh, again, for Alta Custom, <laughs> watching old productions of Julius Caesar, in which Charles Augustus played Mark Antony, and watching him uh, in one scene lying over Caesar's murdered body and swearing revenge and swearing that he will get the dogs that did this. And then the next scene, which goes on for four and a half pages and has a lot of, you know, interruptions by that. But uh, he's trying to incite a riot. Quietly, because he realizes if he just says, get those guys, that it's not going to work. So he has to very slowly explain to the people that they had a really good thing and now they don't and that it's their fault. And he has to do it in such a way that uh, the guys that can have him killed um, won't pick up on it until it's too late. So, uh, cramming them all together and taking out the unimportant bits, uh, we ended up with this. And it's called the Dog of War. Forgive me now, for oh, leaving peace of earth. I make this vow, thou noblest man. <coughs> These butchers will not win the day. I must measure what I say, lest they may see, and silence me. Over thy course, I make this prophecy. Without remorse, what fury there shall be. The empty womb, the morning weeds, all pity choked with deadly deeds, revenge will tell. I'm hot from hell. Woe to the hand that shed this blood. Woe to the land caught in the flood. The tide of times will wash away their choice. A curse shall light the limbs of men, and strife shall smite beyond their ken. When spirits calling with a monarch's voice cry havoc, and let slip the dogs of war. I pray them to me your ears. As grief descends, let there be time for tears. I come to bury, not to praise. The evil lives on beyond our days, and all good word is often turned. Good men have slept, and better men have died. The king has wept, when that the poor have cried. What cause would hold you then to care? My heart is in the coffin there, so bear with me till it goes free. Woe to the hand that shed this blood, woe to the land caught in the flood. The tide of times will wash away their choice. A curse shall light the limbs of men, and strife shall smite beyond their ken. When spirits coming with a monarch's voice cry havoc, and let slip the dogs of war. Would be unkind if I sought to inspire your heart and mind to mutiny and desire. I should do men of honor wrong, and so I choose to go long to wrong the dead on my own head. It is not meet. That you should ever learn to love complete, that worthies would not spurn. You are not wood, you are not stone, but be men could you at home just what you had and not run mad. Woe to the hand that shed.
shed this blood. Home to the land caught in the flood. The tide of times will wash away their joys. A curse shall light the limbs of men, and strife shall smite beyond their ken. When spirits calling with a monarch's voice cry havoc, and let slip the dogs of I come not friends to steal away your hearts, and all my ends are far beyond my hearts. They gave me public leave to speak, for in this matter I am weak, but they are strong, but they are wrong. I have no wit, no words, nor worth but woe. And I admit, no more than what you know. But had I now the power of speech, to stir men's blood, to rouse and teach, then let there be a mutiny. Woe to the hand that shed this blood, woe to the land caught in the flood. The tide of times will wash away their joys. A curse shall light the limbs of men, and strife shall smite beyond their ken. When spirits calling with a monarch's voice cry havoc, and let slip the dogs of war, cry havoc, and let slip the dogs of war.